Hi, my name's Kelvin Tallett and I'm one of the anglers here at Dynamite. And today I'm going to talk you through some of the mixes that I use through the early autumn months. And this will definitely help put some fish in your net. First one is Silver X Naturals. Now I use this mainly for a bulk. So most of my mix is usually this, which has got sweet biscuit meal and hemp and all sorts of good things in. If I target mainly roach, now I use the Silver X Super Black Roach. This has got aniseed and a few uh, other really good ingredients that target the roach better. If I've got uh, a bit of a coloured river and I'm targeting more skimmers, then I will use the Silver X Skimmer Mix. This has got a bit of sweet fish meal in and it's perfect for skimmers. If again the river is still flowing really hard then I'll add some of the Silver X River which is quite a sticky mix and quite heavy so it'll give you some weight to get your balls down to the bottom where, and keep them in where the fish are. Now all of these will now be coming in the eco friendly packaging that we have in the Silver X Naturals so all three will soon be in the eco packaging so that will help us recycle our bags. Uh, we're now going to mix up a few of these mixes that I've just spoken about. First of all we're going to put our Silver X Naturals in. Now, there's a cut mark along the top of the bags so that we can cut in the right place. So I've opened this one already. All right, first things first, you must, and this is very important, measure and keep notes of everything you use because uh, that will help you to refine your mixes so that you can catch more fish. Like this one, I'll put in about three pints. So we'll measure out our three pints. There we go. So there's our three pints of our Silver X Naturals. Next, we're going to use our Silver X Roach Super Black. We're going to do the same thing and we'll measure that out. There we go. This time it's into a small pint bag. And we're going to measure out a pint of this. This is lovely for roach. There we go, that's a lovely pint of that. That goes into our bucket. Right, get out a quick mix. Again, we will add the water slowly. It's also very important to measure out the amount of water you need to make the rips right. That way you can keep good notes. Slowly add the water. Excuse the noise. Already that's getting towards where I want it. It's perfect. This will take a while to come to where you need it. You have to allow the particles to soak up all that water that you put in. So obviously we can come back to this in 20 minutes and it will be absolutely perfect. As you can see there's an awful lot of feed in there so that will keep the fish in your peg for a lot longer. All right. I've mixed this with cold water. Now if you leave the, if you do this overnight and let it soak up all that water and keep adding the water till you get perfect and leave it overnight that kills the mix so it's not as active as it as it would be if you mix it up on the bank then it's best to use hot water so you kill the activity within the particles if you don't what you'll find is with that activity it will push the fish further and further down your peg and makes it difficult for you to, to keep following them so always go 
with a dead mix, what I call a dead mix, so it's not so much activity. Given this mix a good 20 minutes now and it's soaked up an awful lot of that water. We may still have to add a little bit more water, but as it is at the minute, it's just about perfect consistency. You can make a nice ball which doesn't break up, but when you squeeze, it breaks down into crust. Perfect. That is perfect. Alright, so at this stage, I measure out my initial feed. So I'll put probably four or five balls of ground bait. I'll measure out my casters, my hemp, or my dead maggots, whatever I'm going to put into it, and I'll put that into a separate bowl. However, if we're fishing in deep water, or there's a bit of extra flow, I tend to use a bit of this, which is DB1 binder. It comes in three different flavours. This one is the silver fish. So, if you want to stiffen the mix up so you can carry extra feed or you need it to get to the bottom quicker, you can add this. Now it's best to add this slowly, a bit at a time, because if you're not careful, you end up with a claggy mix. So you just rub a bit of that in. And I'll push it through with a drill. And again, you can feel that getting extra sticky. So it will carry a lot more feed and it's a lot better to get down to the bottom. And that's more, it's a bit difficult then to break it down as it was before. You don't need masses amount of this, just enough. There's no hard and fast rule to how much to put in. Just, just mix it slowly so you can find the right consistency for you.